Wrestling fans, the Arm Dragon Sensation, second generation superstar LT Fog here, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. And if you want some real fucking advice, keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, it's a rainy winter morning, but I'm out here trying to catch trout anyway. Let's see if we can get a bite. Here's what we're starting out with. Diesel baits. We got some small eggs here in white. Let's see if we can get a bite. That rhymes. Smells like garlic. That's it right there. Fishing that ultralight trigger spin today. Fish on. There we go. There we go. Wow. Nice, nice stalker rainbow right here. First fish of the day right here, got him on that diesel baits egg. That's a nice one, maybe about 13 inches. Good fish, diesel baits garlic egg, getting it done. Well, jumped out of my hands right into the water. Oh, my reel got a little wet. We're gonna see how that goes. Let's get another bait on there. That was a good one. Just skin hooking it like that so I can get some hook point sticking out. Easier to hook the fish. Also easier to get snagged. What is going on guys? I'm Rush, this is Little Miss Rowdy, Ronda Rousey for Rush Forest Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Always keep it realistic. Got him. Look at that bend. <laughs> there we go. Let's take a look at our second fish of the day. We got another stalker rainbow here. This one's about 11 inches. Not quite as big as that first one, but I'm still happy to get them. Got him on that diesel baits egg. That's two already. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Let's let him go. Nice. Nice. Let's get another egg. I think I found a new egg that I'm really into. I like the small size. It doesn't booger up the hook too much. I can use a small hook and a small egg, and so far, they like it. I'm just letting it drift in the current, I'm waiting to feel that bite. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. They don't really slam it, right? They just kind of pick it up, and when they try to swim away, you can feel the little tug. You need to set the hook right away. When they feel that hook point, they tend to let go, but if you set the hook as soon as you feel that, you're usually in pretty good shape. And I'm using a spin cast. You can catch trout on a spin cast, no problem. This was sent to me in the mail and I'm having a good time with it.
I'm still putting my finger on the line. Helps feel the bite. If I feel it get caught on the bottom, there we go, fish. If I feel it get caught on the bottom, I can just lift up the rod tip. But in this case, it was a fish. Wow, look at that bend. That's that ultralight action. I like to crouch down and handle the fish over the water in case they jump out of my hands. That way they land in the water, don't get injured in the dirt and the sticks and stuff. There we go, third fish of the day. Very similar to that last one. Nice 11 inch stocker here. Once again, Diesel Baits Egg, getting it done. I'm not sponsored by Diesel Baits. I just buy stuff from the website because it works. Let's let this one go. Vance here from Fishing with Vance. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Check it out, still got my bait. Let's keep going. I'm at three trout so far. Doing well. There he is, another one. Wow. Good fight on this one. Good fight. It's got me under this branch. There we go, got him. Look at him, he's got a rosy cheek now where he was hooked, bleeding a little bit. Still great looking trout, look at that one. We're getting back up there into that 13 inch range. Let's let him go so that blood can clot up and he can bite again. Nice. I think you get like 60 of them in a pack. 60, that's a pretty good deal. I think they're six bucks, so that makes them 10 cents each. I'll spend 10 cents to catch a trout. Here we go, let's do it again. Got him. Good one. Good fight. Look at that pole. Woo. Got a hopper here. Right there in the bottom of the jaw. Look at this one's fin is rubbed off raw. Still alive though. Look at that, he didn't die of an infection instantly. And he has red raw fins there. Trout are more resilient than people think. There's a big rumor out there that if you touch it with your hands, it's gonna die. That's totally false. Look at, he's missing his fin on top. He's got a raw bloody fin right there. Still eating. Let's let him go. Nice. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.
All that fishing for bluegill through the years has really helped me figure out what the bite for a trout feels like when you're fishing them on the bottom like this. There he is. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, we got a lively one here. He just came off. That's why I got him over the water. There we go. Another 11 incher here. You know, I caught what, six or seven? I haven't seen anyone else around me catch any. It's all that ultralight practice. Like I said, learning to feel the bite from a bluegill really helps out when you're fishing for trout. Yeah, this guy out here fly fishing. I haven't seen him catch even one fish. This guy over here trying to cast to my spot. I haven't seen him catch one fish either. All right, well, that's it. Yeah, check it out. We got a busy, busy parking lot today. And there we have it. What did I get? Six or seven trout today, all on this right here. Diesel baits trout eggs. I think I paid six bucks for 60 of them. I got a whole bunch left and I'm gonna catch a whole bunch more trout. Like I said, not sponsored. I just enjoy his lures. They're handmade. I found them on Instagram. Good stuff. Thanks Diesel Baits for making such a good product. And thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.